electronic glitch locks out Nissan owners and we hear conflicting rumors about a new Toyota Supra. I'm Tina Beth Pina and this is Fast Lane Daily. If you think your electronic devices are out to get you, you may be right. But do they really have it in for each other? Nissan says its new electronic smart keys can be corrupted if they get too close to a cell phone. The problem is with Nissan's latest iKey fobs. Nissan says cell phone transmissions can erase the key's electronic access code, and that could leave drivers unable to start their cars. Nissan says the electronic snafu can be avoided by simple chaperoning. iKeys and cell phones should be more than an inch apart at all times. There's bad news for hot hatchback fans in Europe. Ford says it's discontinuing the much-loved Ford Focus RS. That's the high-performance version of Ford Europe's Econobox. Ford says an all-wheel drive version of the next-generation Focus is in the works. A new engine setup would have given the next-gen RS upwards of 300 horsepower. The UK's Auto Express reports Ford was unable to make the new model compliant with laws regulating CO2 emissions. But Ford insists it was just a case of the RS not having enough demand to justify the cost. Is a new Toyota Supra on the way, or is it just hype? Find out after this. All right, so I remember when cars, you know, you'd, when you were in high school and you'd go and you'd make out in the back of the car with your girlfriend in the park because you could wear Got a story for Fast Lane Daily? Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastLaneDaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Fast Lane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. Is a new Toyota Supra in the cards? The answer depends on which fortune teller you're asking. Two separate auto news sites offer two very different takes on the Supra's fate. According to Winding Road, word on the Tokyo street is the rumored high-performance coupe is a go. It'll be based on the Toyota FLH concept car shown earlier this year. It'll come in two versions. One powered by a 3.5-liter V6 from the Lexus IS 350, producing 330 horsepower. The second will be powered by the same V6 hybrid Synergy Drive system as the Lexus GS 450H. That gas electric power plant will produce about 400 horsepower. But not so fast, said Edmund Straightline blog. They say the Supra is no closer to production than it was three years ago when all the rumors started. So which is it? Toyota's not talking, but keep collecting your pocket change just in case. That wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow and we'll let our cell phone borrow the car. See ya.